some of the insights from the science learning area are that students typically answered the single mark questions really, really well. In terms of questions that are worth more than one mark, students typically either didn't achieve that number of marks um, for a variety of reasons, but potentially because they didn't add additional information that was required for the additional marks. Many students only answered some of the questions last year on the exam. We train our markers to look for marks in the response. So it's really important that you show us what you know by answering every single question. So for multiple choice questions, it's answer every single multiple choice question. For short response questions, really pay attention to the cognitive verb that is listed in the syllabus because typically that's the cognitive verb that's going to be used on the external assessment. Also with the cognitive verb, really pay attention to the definition of the co cognitive verb in the syllabus glossary so that you understand what's going to be required of you um, when that cognitive verb is used on the external assessment. For example, the definition of the cognitive verb compare is to find similarities, differences and the significance of these. So a question on the exam will typically be worth three marks to elicit those three qualities. Where a question has stimulus, make sure that you refer to the stimulus in your answer. Similarly, in psychology, often a question will refer to a study, uh, and in that case, also make sure that you're referring to details of the study in your answer. For extended response questions in agricultural science and earth and environmental science, make sure you pay attention to the question. Read the question carefully and pay close attention to each of the components that you need to include in your response. So students should be familiar with their general syllabuses, which can be found on the QCAA website. On that same page, you'll also find the sample exams as well as the 2020 past papers. You'll also find the 2020 subject report. In that report, there are example responses from students from the past exam. On the MyQCE website, you'll find the new 2021 external assessment guide for students.